Hello and welcome to the video review of Transformers Beast Machine Scout Class Hammer Strike. Hammer Strike is, well, obviously a techno-organic hammerhead shark. Uh, in this mode, he actually has a little bit of posability. I'll see if I can actually get it to do it, where he can turn his tail a little bit. But otherwise, uh, oh, and his jaw kind of opens and closes a little bit. Um, you know, this figure is actually really ugly, but I do kind of dig it in the fact that it really makes me think of a techno-organic shark decon. I remember there was a picture uh, several years ago of the Quintessons shark decon tank that had the G1 shark decons and these guys in it, and that would have been pretty awesome. Of course, this guy didn't exist back in 1986, so oh well. But uh, okay, so uh, now that we've taken a look at his beast mode, let's go ahead and get him transformed. So, transformation is as follows. We're actually going to come under here, and we're going to rip his jaws apart. And when we do that, that will enable us to wiggle the hammerhead section off. And this will form a weapon that has a, uh, a gimmick, if I can get it to go. It is um, a very lame axe, but we'll see that in a second. So, we'll come under here and split the dorsal fin, and then rotate all that forward. Take this back part and line it up like that, and then take the spine, fold that little metal part down, raise the head, undo the or unpeg the tail and turn it out to form the legs and then flip the shark jaws up there and here we have hammer strike you know this is a very unimpressive robot mode I'm sorry um, articulation is really poor in this mode you've got this movement you've got a ball joint there so his hands are kinda stuck like that uh, legs are actually pretty well articulated. I mean, he's got a, a joint there, a ball joint that points in, oddly enough, and these move up and down. But other than that, his uh, articulation is pretty bad. His head is on a ball joint, but it doesn't want to move all that much. He can go up and down, he can go side to side. He can look way up, but that's due to the transformation. He does have some light piping, very little though. His face is almost non-existent. There's this orange beard sticking down, which I keep wanting to push into his head for some reason. He's just... there's not much of a figure here. There really isn't, and I really can't recommend him, especially if you lose this, you're screwed. And that part just pegs in right here. And this just looks stupid. But, you know, it... it's not a bad figure. It just looks really, really bad. So, I'm going to have to say pass on this guy, but if you see him for like a dollar, actually I'm not even sure he's worth a dollar.